room 1827, Hyatt-centric at the uh, Hyatt-centric Nashville. Let's go check this bad boy out. Look at these views. Clearly, it's pet friendly. Uh, that's my dog Maggie right there. Here with my buddy Dave. Uh, you can immediately see there is a nice little coat closet here. Record player. There's my little check-in bag. Um, we booked this with 20,000 Hyatt points out of Dave's account. He's globalist. He had some sweet upgrades that he was looking to burn, popped up to a standard suite, and they cleared us into this premium suite. It, the views are just amazing. Let's, let's, let's slip it back around. You can see over here, if you're entertaining some people, how nice is that? You got a wet bar, coffee machine, a couple of extra waters. Looks like some dishes over here, but this, you know, you obviously have a little bit of a bar action thing here as well. Um, look at this view. I mean, look at the view. Right down to the baseball field. I think, is that a baseball field? No, no, it's not a baseball field. It looks like a, uh, a big performance art thing. And the uh, river's over here. I mean, look at that view coming back around. Look at the suite. I think this is a pull-out couch. If not, that's where I'm gonna be sleeping anyways. We swing back around this way. What an awesome suite. Uh, this is a, a quite a big TV. You're on wide angle right now, so everything's a little bit distorted. Lay down, Maggie. Maggie, lay down. Lay down. Maggie. <laughs> she likes the suite. Let's move in here. Uh, king bed. Some dresser over here for, for clothes and whatnot. Uh, a nice big TV over here. I mean, I can't get over how big and bright this suite is. And if you look over here, that is the Joseph, which I've reviewed a few times. Hyatt Place, you can see right there. Omni's there, swinging back around this way. Just a nice, big, open, airy suite. Popping in here, dual vanities, big soaker tub. Uh, let's see, what is it? Be Kind are the products. Uh, your poopers in there. And then over here, you just have like a normal shower. So all in all, this hotel so far hitting home runs, but this suite is really making a big difference. Uh, pretty new property here in, in Nashville as well. I think Hyatt Centric opened, <clears throat> excuse me, end of 2022. Maggie, lay down. Boy, she's so noisy, isn't she? Uh, anyways, uh, let's go check out the rest of the hotel, uh, Hyatt Centric Nashville. Here's the lobby. Immediately to the right, you can see Ella's, which is where you have breakfast in the morning. It was packed. Morning, afternoon, whenever. There was a lot of people. I thought the food was okay. We got two free breakfasts because of globalist status. There are so many good places to eat in Nashville that I wouldn't go out of my way unless you got it free of charge. You can see my salmon platter there. We stayed here because of the pool primarily. It had more family vibes, so if that's what you're looking for, that was great. Let's go outside so you can see the location. So you can kind of see here, I'm walking towards the Hyatt Centric now, I'll flip it around for you. All of these cars are going down to Broadway and then that is the Hyatt Centric. It's right next to the Hyatt Place. You see kind of over there, that's the uh, Joseph, but very good location. Just a block, that's the Four Seasons actually, right there. So just a block off of Broadway. So I know what you're thinking, how do you get the points to stay here? So you can either transfer Chase or Built Rewards over. And I always try to get two cents per point. So there's a lot of hotels in Nashville that are associated with Hyatt's. I always look to see like what is the price in points and what is the price in cash. When you go to Nashville in the summer, the cash rates are insane. And this is a category five hotel. So they will range between 17,000 and 23,000. You can see right here, they're 20,000. And then if you did have suite upgrades, you could apply those or if you're paying cash, 6,000 points per night and you could end up in a beautiful suite. Hope that helps.